Hi everyone, it's Phil from Ashland Leather. If you've ordered something off of our website within the last couple days or over the weekend, you're probably gonna see it in the video today and I can't wait for you to have these. So thank you guys so much for supporting us. And we're going through a little bit of a weird time here with the coronavirus things going on. I wanted to address that very quickly with how it relates to here, us here at Ashland. It's sort of business as usual. We're not changing very many things here at Ashland. The only thing that we have changed, which won't affect you at all, is a couple of our team members have children at home and they their schools are being canceled. So we're setting them up to be able to work from home, make some wallets at home, make some watch traps at home. You should not see any delays uh, beyond what we currently are giving you on our website. So most wallets that are in stock ship within a day. All the watch traps ship within a week or so. Um, so the post offices are running. We're still going to the post office every day. If you're interested in a wallet, it's still a good time to pick one up. And let's start off here with something that is new and back in stock. This is an Amaretto Shell Cordovan, Tony the Ant. And the Amaretto Shell Cordovan is my absolute favorite Shell Cordovan color. I just love these vibrant tan shades. And it sort of changes color depending on what angle you look at it. From some angles, it's a little darker brown uh, with a little bit more red tones and then more aggressive angles, it tends to get a little bit more orangey. It's a very nice shade. And I just really love everything about this Tony the Ant. And I have several watch traps to show you today. I wanted to start off here first with an all blacked out black Chrome XL two piece strap. And this one is in 18 millimeters. What I really like about our watch straps is they're all unlined. So you get a very, very comfortable strap, especially on something like the Chrome XL and the Shell Cordovan. The leather content and the oil content in the leather it's just so much wax and oil and grease that it's just a very soft and supple strap. And they're all veg tanned or combination tan with a veg retan like this Chrome XL. So any veg tan leather or veg retan leather has an ability to mold and conform around whatever you put it. So these make for a really great comfortable strap. Now here's something new. This is an English tan Dublin two-piece strap and we haven't really done that many of these before, especially in this thickness. So this is a specifically thick custom-made watch strap in a nine ounce Dublin leather. This is more typically found uh, thickness and belts, but I really like how this one's turned out. If your watch has a little bit larger of a case, a little bit bigger look to it, a thicker strap tends to complement that a little bit better. And the Dublin is a veg tan leather, so this will mold and conform around your wrist. And we have another amaretto piece here today that my favorite shell color, I just love looking at this shade, especially how it change, changes colors before your eyes. This is a really great looking two piece strap in 20 millimeters. We also do, like I mentioned, the 18, a 22 and a 24 and two different lengths. This is a regular length. So this piece is 120 millimeters and the other is 80. We also have a shorter length. If you have a little bit smaller of a wrist and that is 105 and 70 on this piece, on the buckle piece. Up next here, check out this intense blue shell cordovan two-piece strap. This intense blue on the particular strap here is a little bit more aqua than most I see. Sometimes it's a little darker and each of these shells are hand stained by Horween. So we do see some variants from time to time. What I really like about our blue strap and the color eight strap you're about to see is we do a little bit extra work to hand stain and finish and wax the edges of all these straps. So you get a color on the edge of this that matches the shell color. And I just think is a really good look. And here is that color eight strap I was mentioning. This also has that hand finished edge, the color eight stained, waxed and burnished edge to match the color eight shell. This is a really sleek looking two piece strap in that classic color eight shell cordovan. And I've got a couple great Apple watch bands to show you today. This is a natural shell cordovan Apple watch band. I've been wearing my Apple watch band for about a year now. And this is actually black reverse. It looks quite different now than when it started and that's because it's a veg tan leather and getting a little bit of moisture off of my wrist and friction from wearing it. The color has definitely uh, developed a nice patina, darkened a bit. It's even developed a nice shiny luster. Uh, so I really like this strap and if I were to change this out, I'd probably switch to the natural shell because I like seeing things change over time. I like seeing that patina develop, seeing the leather just become a little bit darker. I just think it's kind of a fun thing to experience. It's a great looking natural shell Apple watch band. And check out this stunner of an Apple watch band. This is in Magenta Shell Cordovan. Magenta is, I believe it's the most recent color edition of Shell Cordovan that Horween makes. I find this to be the most vibrant Cordovan shade of all of them. And in the magenta itself, it's kind of like the ultraviolet at certain angles. And then 
other angles, you see more pink, like a dark pink coming through. And it's a very vibrant, nice shade. I am a huge fan of this Apple Watch, man. And what do you say we move on to some wallets? So starting off, we're going to start it off right with a really incredible piece of Whiskey Shell Cordovan, perhaps the most rare and most sought after Shell Cordovan color on a Giant of the Fox. And this one has a reverse interior. I really like the Whiskey Shell. The Whiskey is a little bit darker and definitely more golden in color when you compare it to something like the Natural Shell Cordovan. What I like most about this Giant of the Fox is the reverse interior. Just check out how cool and randomized all the different pattern pieces are on there. And that's because the reverse shell cordovan is all different. So we cut them to give it a nice, uh, interesting look that's completely random and unique. None of these reverse interiors are alike. And here's one of our best selling items. This is a Giant of the Fox in English Tan Dublin. And I really, really like the Dublin leather. I've got a few different Dublin pieces here to show you today. What I like about the Dublin is that it is a veg tan leather and has a great grain character to it. It's very much a full grain leather, very natural looking. Uh, and the color on this English tan is just a very nice shade. I like the tan shades of this English tan. And what's cool about it is the surface is a little bit more red, a little darker. And when you flex and displace some of the waxes that are finished onto the surface of the Dublin, you see a little bit more of those lighter tan sort of sand color shades come from underneath. So it has a really great depth of color. The more you wear the English tan Dublin, the better it gets. And I've seen some people send in photos of this wallet and it just look remarkable. And we have another Dublin wallet here. This is a black Dublin Giant of the Fox. And this one we've paired with a very cool teal interior. And I really like how these colors pair together. And I was inspired from a piece of leather at the tannery that we were working on years and years ago that was a black stain on top of this teal. So when you would scratch and scuff the black, you would see some of the teal colors come off. And I just thought that concept was so cool that we translated it to our Giant of the Fox. And since we started making these, it's been one of our best selling items. We've sold many, many of these Giant of the Fox. And here's another very sleek Giant of the Fox. This one is Black Shell Cordovan and just check out the sweet luster on that. Very much mirror-like. And on the inside, we have a black horse hide interior. Now I like the black horse hides on the Giant of the Fox because they are a little bit thinner than the shells. So if you're looking for the thinnest possible bifold, the horse hides are probably the best uh, to choose, and we have that currently in two colors, the black and the mock, which is more of a sand tan shade. But this is a really great John of the Fox because it's all blacked out. You got black on the outside, black on the inside. Very sleek. And since we launched this new color option on the Fat Herbie, this Fat Herbie has become one of our best sellers. And this is the Cobalt Blue Dublin leather on the Fat Herbie. I really like this Dublin for the same reasons I like the other ones. Very much a natural finished leather. It looks very real without looking too painted on. And it's hard to find that kind of look in a nice blue shade. So for that reason, it's very special. And you start to see on the blue Dublin here, the cobalt blue, a really nice range of color. The surface is a little bit more dark. It's a little bit more navy. And when you flex the leather, you see a little bit more of this aqua blue coming up from underneath the leather. So it gives it a really great depth of color. These wear in incredibly. It's one heck of a fat Herbie here. And up next, check out this incredible Tony the Ant in natural shell cordive. And the shell on this is very bright, very smooth. It's a great feel to it. Probably one of the smoothest shells I've felt in a long time. And the inside, just check out how cool this looks with that Horween ink stamp cut right into the center. This one is gonna wear in very nicely. And here is the classic color number eight shell cordovan, the classic color. It's a dark brown burgundy shade. And I think it's become a classic for a reason. This is a very nice shade. A lot of those little reddish undertones. And on the inside, this is what I like most about it. The reverse interior on this Fat Herbie is one of my favorites. I like how everything's a little bit more consistent. It's probably cut right next to, uh, these two pieces were probably cut right next to each other. So I just think this is a really, really clean looking Fat Herbie. Up next here, I have another Fat Herbie, also in color number eight, but this time it is in the Chrome Excel leather. The Chrome Excel uh, color eight is very similar to the Shell Cordovan color, but it's a little bit more cherry, especially on the undertones. Like you can see on the spine of the wallet here, it's a little bit more red of a color. 
and this is one heck of a fat Herbie. These have been uh, selling pretty quickly. I think we only have a couple left of these. And a couple minutes ago, I showed you the inverse of this wallet. So this is a teal Latigo on the outside with a black interior. So let's compare those really quickly. It's just the total inverse of the black and teal uh, that I showed you a minute ago. I really like this teal Latigo on the outside. And the way it starts off here is very deceptive because this Latigo wears in incredibly. Uh, one of our friends over at Chicago Comb has this exact wallet. And the more he's worn it, the darker the teal on the outside has become. It's starting to look more of uh, like a pair of denim, which is really, really cool. And the luster is developing very nicely on his wallet. It's starting to look a lot shinier, developing a great patina. And I have a couple more fat Herbies to show you today. This one is in natural Chrome Excel. It's one of our best selling fat Herbies of the moment. And I think people really like this sort of golden tan. It's like a very much a natural color on this fat Herbie. And you can see right down the spine, the pull up of the Chrome Excel. This gives you a good sense of the depth of color that we can expect to see as you use this wallet and load it up with cards and stuff. It has that little bit of sand shade underneath. And uh, I think this one is most popular because that brown color of the natural Chrome Excel is very relatable. It's just a very clean, sleek looking Fat Herbie. I really wanted to show you this Fat Herbie here today too. This is a black Dublin Fat Herbie. And I've been raving on and on about the Dublin, but I think in this Fat Herbie style, it's really where the Dublin shines. In fact, I think it's where most leathers shine because you get this great context. You get to see a lot of the leather. And uh, these have not been selling that well, which is why I wanted to show it to you. I think if I were to choose a Fat Herbie right now, I might even pick this over some shell. I just think this is a great looking leather and a great looking wallet. It's my personal favorite wallet. Up next here, I wanted to show you this Bugs and Moran in color eight shell cordovan. And what I like about the Bugs and Moran is how it fits in your hand. Just the form factor of it. It's just about perfect. It's a little bit smaller than the Tony the Ant. And we did that because this does not have the bill slot in the back. We wanted to make it as minimalist and compact as possible. Check out the interior of this one. I love this color eight reverse on the inside of this Bugs Moran. And I wanted to show you a couple of irregular wallets that I will be putting up on the website just before I put up this video. And this first here, again, is my favorite shell color, the Amaretto Shell Cordovan, Johnny the Fox. This one has a little bit of a crease line on the outside. It doesn't feel uh, like it looks. It, you can't really feel the crease in there. But you can't see it. I actually kind of like the look. So this might be a great Giant of the Fox to try out if you want to try the Amaretto shell. And we got a funky one here. This is a shop-worn Tony the Ant in a dark green shell cordovan. This one definitely shows signs of wear, so we're going to give a heavy discount on it. You can see some dents and scuffs on the outside left here. They're not so bad. It's hard to see at some angles. But on the inside, we also have a little bit of scuffs and scratches where those raised letters and numbers of your credit cards are. So this one will be up on the site as well on the flash sale page. Last and finally of our regulars for the day, this is a color number four double reverse. And we put these up a couple weeks ago and I found one more. So I'm gonna put this up as well. I really like this one. I was actually very surprised at how quickly these sold. So thank you guys for supporting us. But what's really cool about these uh, being a double reverse is that you see shell and reverse shell on the outside and shell and the reverse shell on the inside. It's a really cool fat Herbie that you'll be able to find on the flash sale page. I almost forgot one more irregular here. This is an Apple Watch band in black shell cordovan. This one just has very minor stitching issues that just aren't up to our normal standards. If you're looking for a watch band, this will be up there as well. And let's wrap it up very quickly here with my natural Lancaster Fat Herbie experiment. I'm starting to see the luster develop very nicely on this wallet. And it's not darkening up as much as I was hoping, but the luster that is accumulating on there is very promising. I'm enjoying this Fat Herbie and it's been 54 days of wearing this one. I've been keeping a little tally. So I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like in the next 54 days. And thank you guys for checking out all the stuff today. We'll be shipping out wallets today, everything you've seen in the video. So if one of those was yours, you can expect to see that soon. And thank you again so much. Have a good one and stay healthy.